Did you like constructing with bricks as a child? Is the science of building design and construction attractive to you? This satisfying profession will enable you to witness your creations come to life from ideas and conceptions. Hi guys, welcome back to Civil Mentors, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you about the unspoken reality of being an engineer. But before we begin, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to Civil Mentors and turn on notifications to never miss any updates. With that being said, let's dive into our topic without further ado. What exactly is a civil engineer? In the widest sense, a civil engineer employs scientific knowledge to develop infrastructure and basic utilities that satisfy fundamental human requirements. Civil engineers specialize in the construction of the building. You'll do several tasks throughout the early planning and design stages. Studies and technological tasks will need creative thinking. You will aim to find the most cost-effective and dependable technological solution. With engineering expertise and experience, you can help in the building phase of projects. Construction-focused civil engineers typically take on the role of project managers. They are in charge of the project's time management, ensuring that it stays on schedule. You can also consult with other experts engaged in the project, such as architecture and mechanical engineers. Structural projects are the primary focus of other civil engineers. Civil engineers take into account a wide range of issues while creating a safe design. Consideration for specific concerns like earthquake or wind pressure is also included in the building materials and the predicted loads on the final structure. As early as humans began building permanent settlements and altering their surroundings to meet their demands, civil engineering was one of the first areas of the engineering profession. Water, garbage disposal, roads for commerce and trade, and the ability to protect oneself against hostile neighbors became more important as the population rose and towns and cities became more densely populated throughout time. As a result, early civil engineers were tasked with the construction of walls, roads, bridges, dams, and levees, as well as the excavation of wells, irrigation canals, and trenches. It is hard to overstate how important civil engineering was in ancient times, from the Roman roadways to China's Great Wall, and from Stonehenge to Mesa Verde to Palenque to Tikal. These are just a few of the best-known examples. Many of these marvels were built by pre-industrial nations, but no one knows how they were done or who the engineers who constructed them were. A number of notable civil engineering feats have been accomplished in more recent times, including the famously named Eiffel Tower by Gustav Eiffel, the Golden Gate Bridge by Joseph Strauss and Charles Ellis, the Panama Canal by John Frank Stevens, the Hoover Dam by John L. Savage, and the Brooklyn Bridge by John August Roebling and his son Washington Roebling. They aren't limited to designing structures like skyscrapers and bridges, though. They are designers of airplanes and space stations in the aviation sector. Crash resistance for bumpers and doors may be improved and the load-bearing capability of the chassis calculated. They're involved in shipbuilding, power generation, and a variety of other businesses that need built-in facilities. These people may see the fruits of their labor, like a finished bridge or high-rise skyscraper or subway station or hydroelectric dam. This makes civil engineering a very fascinating career. There is a wide range of people in the civic sector. As a result, the employment opportunities for civil engineers are very diverse. If you're interested in becoming a civil engineer, you'll have a wide range of career options when it comes to everyday duties for civil engineers, irrespective of their chosen field. The tasks are likely to be performed. Large teams of engineering are generally responsible for the design, planning, and building of a project. Managing a team that includes surveys, constructors, architects, landscaped architects, and urban planners means they must meet often and work together. To top it all off, they'll have to put in a lot of time coming up with new ideas and concepts for projects, as well as analyze existing ones and presenting their findings to clients in various ways. The majority of civil engineering employment is project-based. Although some civil engineers work in the office most of the time, others spend a significant amount of time in the field. However, many professions involve outdoor and office work. The hours of government positions tend to be more predictable than those of the private sector, which tends to operate from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Long hours and travel may be required while working for a real estate business. Managerial responsibilities such as project management may need lengthy hours as well. Civil engineers spend a lot of time in offices working on detailed drawings and calculations. To say that these engineers don't get out into the field is an understatement. They often go to building sites, mines, and other outdoor locations to check up on the progress of their projects, lead their teams, conduct surveys and analysis, and find solutions to issues that arise while they're there. They may work from their vehicle as they travel to and from various construction sites to check the project. 
They sometimes go overseas to work on huge engineering ventures in other nations. They usually work full-time and roughly one-third of them spend more than 40 hours every week. Workers should have a job they like and a career they're proud of since they'll be working into their 60s on average in the United States. Many workers would want a job with a low level of stress, a decent work-life balance, and great chances for advancement, promotion, and a raise in pay. In terms of upward mobility, civil engineers' work satisfaction is above average, but in terms of stress level and flexibility, it is ranked ordinary. In 2020, civil engineers earned an average income of $88,570, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The top 25% earned $115,110, while the bottom 25% earned $69,100. If you're a civil engineering student, you already know that this isn't a field where you can just sit back and relax. A site here refers to most of it. Although there are a few notable exceptions, it doesn't matter if you've done your research on the position you're applying for, there's a tremendous gap between your expectations and what you see. Because of this gap, many people have turned down the job. As a result, what should we be prepared for? What might one anticipate if it doesn't materialize? Isn't it time to merge your expectations with the facts? Moreover, there's only one method to do it. Establish the profession you want to do, find your career goal, and learn all you can about it. Acquiring knowledge should involve, for example, investigating your entry job and the route you want to follow to achieve your ambition, as well as communicating with others who share their experience, whether in person or through social media. Even if a professional scolds you, you'll be glad that they're spending their time checking your work since it means that you'll be able to work with them. Despite the difficulty of considering such matters, effort always pays off. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, let us know in the comments if we've missed out on anything. See you in the next video. Until then, peace out.